What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over how to install and use the Farming for Blockheads mod in Minecraft. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. Food is obviously a necessity in the world of Minecraft, giving you the energy that you need to explore the world. But how you get this food is up to you. Whether you eat farm fresh food or rotten flesh, there are plenty of ways to sustain yourself, except spider eyes. Don't eat those. At the end of the day, farming is the easiest and most steady way to make food, but it's so slow. Introducing Farming for Blockheads, a Minecraft mod that aims to streamline the farming process for both plants and animals. Let's go over how to use this mod to your advantage. Head to the Farming for Blockheads Forge or Fabric page, and then press Files near the top to view all of the downloads. Scroll down and find the version that you want to use, and then press the download button to the right hand side. Save this file to a safe location like a separate folder, and then you're going to want to do the exact same thing for the matching version of BOM. Head to your Apex server panel and stop the server, and then scroll down to the game file section and make sure that you're running a matching version of Forge or Fabric to the mods that you just downloaded. Afterwards, enter the FTP file access from the left hand menu, and then you can find or create the mods folder and enter it. Press the upload button in the top left, and on the next page, drag and drop both of the jar files into upload. Once they are 100% done, you can click on your server name at the top to return to the main panel page and restart the server. Now, before we start playing, you're also going to need to install the mods onto your client side. First, make sure Forge or Fabric is installed, which we have guides to if you need help doing that. Once that is done, you're going to open your Minecraft launcher and then enter into the installations tab and then hover over your Forge or Fabric profile and press the open folder icon. In the new window, find or create the mods folder and enter that. And then you can paste the mods jar files into this location, return to the launcher and press play to start your game. With the market, you're capable of trading emeralds for a variety of seeds, saplings, and even bone meal. And I know, an emerald for a seed seems expensive, but you're also paying for ease of access, which specifically helps if you're in a biome or an area without a specific seed that you want to use. The recipe for the market is pretty simple. You're just going to need one red wool, two planks, and five logs. The feeding trough is going to make it easier to continuously breed your animals since it feeds them for you. All you need to make this is four planks, a golden carrot, and one hay bale. The chicken nest is going to collect and store up to four eggs per block, which is obviously going to help you lose less eggs due to despawning. This is one of the easiest recipes in the mod, where all you need is two planks and one hay bale. And finally, fertilizer upgrades, which can be used on farmland to affect growth. You can choose between upgrading growth speed or crop yield, and you have the option of preventing crops from being trampled. To increase your crop's output, you're going to use this recipe of three green dye, two gold nuggets, one seed, and three wheat. To speed up growth, you're going to need three red dye, two gold nuggets, one seed, and three bone meals. And finally, if you want to prevent trampling, then you're going to need three yellow dye, two gold nuggets, one seed, and three dirt. That is all you're going to need to get started with the Farming for Blockheads mod. I know farming isn't the most interesting part of the game, but it's necessary, and with this mod, you can put it all at the back of your mind, giving you more time to focus on other ways to progress in the game. I promise, once you use this mod, you'll seriously never want to go back. That's all for this one, gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.